Yo, what's up, man? It's your boy LP. Hey, but before we get started, I just want to first wish everyone a happy 2022. <laughs> Woo! Now, I'm not sure about you, but in my house, the person who holds this thing, yeah, you see it. They hold the power. That's right, the remote control. You know, back in the day, we used to use this thing to change the channel on the TV. But now you can navigate with streaming app you want, play games, and all sorts of other things. When you have control of the remote, you basically have the power. <laughs> now I'm just playing. But you know, sometimes I wish I had a remote control like this for, for everyday life. <laughs> but for the month of January, we'll be talking about another kind of control. Self-control. Self-control is choosing to do what you should even when you don't want to. The great thing about self-control is that we don't have to do it in our own power. That's right. God helps us to have self-control. Our memory verse comes from 2 Peter 1, 3a. God's power has given us everything we need to lead a godly life. Let's make it personal and repeat after me. God's power has given me everything I need to lead a godly life. Let's check out this week's bottom line. Think of the bottom line as your main takeaway each week. It helps us to connect the Bible to our own personal lives. Now, let's kick it over to Megan, and I'll see you a little later. What's up, everybody? Let's get ready to give God our praise and worship to hear an amazing Bible story to remind us that we can have self-control.
God, help us to be more like you. Because your way is the best way. I feel it in my soul when you are in control. I got one life to live and I want to live it your way. Oh yeah, I do what I should do when you help me choose. I got one life to live and I want to live it your way. Oh yeah, I feel it in my soul when you are in control. I got one life to live and I want to live it your way. Oh yeah, I do what I should do when you help me choose. I got one life to live and I want to live it your way. Oh yeah, I got one life to live and I want to live it your way. Oh yeah. The Bible, it's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how He created us and loves us so much that He made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story, Inspired by the book of Proverbs, chapter 25, verse 28. Theo Brickman knew he had the perfect name. He had been building brick creations ever since he could wrap his chubby baby hand around a mega brick. Brick! As Theo grew older, he moved on to brick building kits, but soon his imagination raced ahead of any building kit or building instruction set you could ever buy. I want to build Jupiter. All of Narnia, a ginormous flying pizza. Theo even got a job at a brick building store so he could spend his days surrounded by bricks. So he was overjoyed when he found out that a brick building TV show called Brick Bosses was gonna be holding auditions in his town. I'll get on the show for sure. On the day of auditions, several dozen other people showed up along with Theo. He jostled up to the front for a good spot. <laughs> I bet not one of them can beat me. A tiny lady with iron gray hair eyed him sharply as she addressed the competitors. I am Althea Legoemi, and I shall be judging you on originality, technical skills, and overall conduct. There is a break room if you need a snack or rest, but no food may be eaten here in the brick room. You have four hours to build anything you can imagine. Begin! Theo raced to the side of the room where racks and bins holding every kind of brick stood. Hey, you stepped on my foot. <laughs> you snooze, you lose. Theo shoveled bricks into his bin. I'll build a castle, one with turrets and towers and a wonderful moat filled with shiny brick water. Theo got right to work. Soon, the walls of his fortress began to rise. He designed decorative windows and lofty balconies. Ooh, I should build a dragon to attack my castle. As Theo snapped red and gold bricks together to form his dragon, another competitor looked over. <laughs> Is that supposed to be a horse? Can't you see I'm not done with it yet, you, you, you blockhead? As time ticked on, Theo realized he was hungry, so he decided to take a quick snack break just one minute. But in the break room, he discovered his favorite treat of all time. <gasps> Dill pickle and pizza potato chips. Theo downed one whole bag. <laughs> he desperately wanted another, but the clock was running down. Mm, I'll just sneak this back into the brick room with me. Theo finished his dragon between stuffing pizza chips in his mouth. He tried to hide the bag, but when he looked up, he noticed Althea spotting a trail of chip crumbs that he'd left behind. <laughs> she probably doesn't know that was me. With just a half hour to go, Theo's castle and dragon were nearly complete. I need a wall around the moat. Yeah, with a really cool pattern. So Theo began snapping together an elaborate wall. <laughs> but the wall simply would not behave. Gotta treat this piece apart. Pry as he might, Theo could not separate two small plates. 
Frustrated, Theo hurled the locked pieces across the room. They narrowly missed the head of Althea Lagoame, who was examining another competitor's project. She turned her head sharply to look in his direction. I don't think she saw it was me. As the final minutes ticked away, Theo fumbled to finish his wall. Time is up. Wheel your creations up to the judging stand. Theo glanced around as he wheeled his work table up to the front. <laughs> Mine's the best! But as Theo slid his table into position, it bumped over a crack in the floor. A big section of his perfect wall tilted and then crashed down. No! It was too late. Time was up, so Theo was not allowed to repair the wall. No fair! Theo sulked all the way through judging. When the names of the winners were announced, Theo's was not among them. What a waste of time. Theo stormed up to Althea. So, it was my castle wall, right? If that hadn't fallen, I would have won? It wasn't the castle wall, actually. It was your wall. What? Part of your score was conduct. How you acted and followed the guidelines and treated others throughout the audition. But I built the best creation. You do an excellent job of building without instructions but it's pretty hard to go through life without instructions. My favorite guide for life is the book of Proverbs. You mean in the Bible? Exactly. Proverbs 25, 28 says, a person without self-control is like a city whose walls are broken through. Oh. If your own wall was in good shape, I think you would have won today and caused a lot less trouble for yourself and the people around you. But that's not... <sighs> what if I do? Work on my self-control wall, I mean. Then you should definitely audition again next season. I think you'll have an excellent chance. Um, thank you. I think. Theo was deeply disappointed not to be chosen for this show, but as he was waiting for the bus to take him home, he downloaded a Bible app and tapped his way to Proverbs. Yep, maybe it was time for some life-building instructions. God gives us self-control through the power of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit comes to live on the inside the moment we ask Jesus to save us. And oh yeah, getting saved is as easy as ABC, literally. What we have to do, we have to A, admit that we've sinned. We have to B, believe that Jesus died for our sins and is alive today. And C, we have to confess Jesus as our Lord and Savior. So let us pray. Say, dear God, I admit that I have sinned and I have fallen short. I believe that Jesus died and that he rose again on my behalf. I believe that Jesus is living right now. And I confess Jesus as my Lord. Thank you, Father for saving me. In Jesus' name, amen. Wow, it's just as simple as that. Listen, families, if you or your child receive salvation today, we want you to tell us about it. Just text Faith Chapel to 94000 so we can connect with you. Thanks for hanging with me today, and I'll see you next time as we talk about self-control. Happy New Year, everyone. Kids enjoy learning about God from the on-demand videos, but they love learning from their families even more. Check out this week's family activity guide that you can download from our Facebook parent group website or follow it right from your phone. In it, you'll find fun activities that makes it so easy to keep growing in God's relationship with your elementary kids. It will help you talk about today's Bible lesson, gives you an easy activity that we can do together, gives us through a time of prayer and so much more. Decide when and how you want to use these great tools that are right at your fingertips. And you will be amazed at how much your elementary kids are learning and growing in their faith right at home with you. We continue to have amazing services for the entire family every week. 
As families continue to worship together in our sanctuaries on Sundays, we will continue on demand services for kids and teens, and we're excited to invite you to our Sunday Kids Time to Talk Zoom group. This group provides a safe space for your child to talk with their friends and small group leaders. And we want to pray with them as they prepare for the upcoming week. Check out our service times, locations, and how to join, and we'll see you soon. Have a great day.